Picked up this 2005 Healthy Z250 today. Decent shape, definitely needs some tires. Um, this fender looks like it got rolled, so this fender was buckled up right here, and then this was pushed down. So I uh, fixed that, it was easy. Just uh, put a rubber mallet under there, pushed it up on it, well, I heated up the plastic, and it went back. Uh, the only other issue I got is it otherwise she's in good shape uh, so tires wash service grips and uh, I think we'll be all right with that rim I'll look for another one if I can find one but everything else works so uh, I think I've been sitting a while definitely needs a battery too so I don't order one of those up a little cheapy one $20 one but just throw it around the box are so good. Yeah, I mean, they aren't damaged. Like, this is all scuff marks for the most part from your shoes. Uh, there's a little scuff right there. Scrape. Yeah, it looks like this, this got a little scraped up here, but it should clean up good. It's not too bad. I'll just peel that off. All right, well, that was fun. Um, it took me a good, I don't know, maybe three hours to do all this. Uh, one of the back sides of these wheels had primer on it. So after I got through the black layer, I had a gray layer. So no, they definitely came out good. Now there's still, I mean, you can still see a little bit of black little dots here and there, but I'm sure after a couple washes, those will come off. There's the back of that one. that one yeah that citrus strip works really well um it seems to work better when it's hot out uh it's kind of cool now in arizona probably in the mid 60s but when it's like 80 out my head stuff works great uh definitely a hot weather item for stripping paint but uh works good um just came out pretty clean all the scuffs are gone. Um, kind of shaved down this stuff. Uh, I need to touch that up there. I just used a plastic razor blade and it comes right off. So without damaging the plastic more, but it's cleaned up good. Got the tires in today. Uh, we went with the uh, Mass FX tires again, just like the last uh, bike I did, uh, the Z400. We went and put these tires on that as well. Um, I wouldn't use these tires myself. Uh, I prefer the uh, Sun F tires. It's more of a sturdy tire. Uh, definitely less of a sidewall, I guess you could say. And the Sun F tires are six ply. These are only four. So, I mean, they're good for a bike that I'm gonna sell. Um, you know, most people don't know none the wiser, don't have a preference, whatever. So these are the ones I'm gonna throw on this bike for uh, the flip bike number seven. I will definitely say these guys pack them in pretty tight. I mean, they come in a box that's banded just that big. Uh, there's the front tires and there's the back tires are pretty compressed, squished down and packed to the smallest they could probably be. It's almost as like a dirt bike tire here. I did get it all cleaned up. Uh, plastics came out pretty clean. Like both sides, even the scratches came out. Um, it wasn't as bad as it looked to begin with. There was just a lot of dirt in there, so. But yeah, she's a clean bike, so I don't see why I shouldn't be able to get what I want for it.
Sold the 250 today. Uh, another void in my life right here again. I always like having a bike sitting there, but she sold today. Uh, it's a few days before Christmas. It was on the market for six days. Uh, I posted it up with the paddle tires and a size medium helmet that didn't fit my son anymore. And we got $36.50 for it. Uh, when I went to buy it, uh, the seller wanted $2,600 is what he was asking. I got him down to $23. I would have liked to have been at $22, but uh, he wasn't budging from $23. But it did need a battery right off the bat. The bike didn't even run. It cranked over, but it wouldn't start. Uh, I needed tires right off the bat. And uh, honestly, I didn't catch that back wheel that was bent on the one side because he had it positioned against the wall and I couldn't see it. So uh, that kind of caught me off guard, but I did find a set of Honda rear tire, rear, rear wheels that have the same bolt pattern for 20 bucks with those paddles on it. So uh, when I had the dirt tires mounted, I just had to mount them on the uh, Honda wheels uh, after I stripped them down from that black paint. And uh, so now I have one front Suzuki wheel and one good back Suzuki wheel along with one good Honda front wheel. So, anyway, um, yeah, so I bought it for 2,300, put um, with parts and all that stuff was 2,620. And uh, the oil, like I don't count the oil and the gear oil because uh, those have been, you know, already calculated into other bikes. So I have a surplus of that. So I just roll that into the next bike and you know, eventually I'll, you know, charge it to another bike, and do it that way. So um, with this deal, we made a thousand dollars profit, uh, basically for a basic service, some new tires, new grips, a battery, and a really good cleanup. And topped it off with some SC1 to give it a little bit of a nice shine. So it was definitely an easy flip. Um, I'm gonna look for another bike here. Uh, probably a 400. I've got my eye on two of them. They're the Kawasaki's. One's green, one's orange. And uh, we'll see if we can grab one of those. Uh, they're definitely in the price range, but um, I'm not sure what they're going to need. But the cheaper, the better. And uh, I'll probably do that after the holiday here because I want to see what comes up after Christmas because I have a feeling people are going to start dumping bikes here real quick um, after the holiday because they either got something new or they're done going to the dunes. Uh, it's usually like Christmas and then New Year's are the big dune holiday weekends. So we'll see what goes on there, but I'll keep my eye out for another flip bike. But um, she is definitely gone. We sold her and we made a thousand dollars profit on that and didn't do much, but basically a general service and tires, grips, battery, oil, and a good cleanup. So that was an easy peasy flip. So stay tuned for some more videos and I'll get another bike here and we'll see what that one needs.